Mr. McGinty. How you doing? I'm from Brantford. What are you going to do about the natives occupying my site? We'll do as much as we can. This is an important question of Brantford. You're sterilizing development, sir. That doesn't put bread on my table. I'm going to go bankrupt. The Premier just told me he had a nice speech about fighting, and all the Premier says right now is it's, it's a federal. It's a federal, uh, it's a federal problem. Developer Mike Quattrochaki is fed up with the lack of support from the province. Last week, native protesters stopped his housing development in Brantford by sitting right in front of heavy machinery. Small builders like myself can't move forward. We've been asked to pay money, and the government's doing jack Because of federal and provincial government inaction, Six Nations Confederacy Council has created the Haudenosaunee Development Institute to deal with builders like Quattrochaki. We have gone out and we have tried to come up with something that's going to provide positive solutions for everyone. We're not relying on the province. We're not relying on the federal government to get this uh, problem solved. Quattro Chalky says the HDI has asked him to pay $48,000 before he'll be allowed to build on the land right they say still belongs to them. The figure that he's uh, throwing out there is simply just simply not true. What we try to do is ask him to come up with a commercially feasible and reasonable way to let him go forward. And we're trying to make it uh, so he can go off and sell these houses in the future. Quattro refuses to pay any money and plans to continue building, but he knows it won't be long before construction is stopped again. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News, Brantford.